clear to the Country Club of Jackson as the Sanderson Farm Championship is now over. But there is a lot of analyzing to do regarding the tourney that was moved from Madison to Jackson this year. 16 WAPT's Hadass Brown is live in our newsroom with that story. And how did it compare to the tournament in Madison? Well, Scott, the way that we will know for sure is through the numbers like fundraising for the hospital attendance and overall revenue. And while we don't have those exact numbers yet tonight, organizers say that all signs point to a very successful first year in Jackson. Four days, over 130 players, and one controversial move that leaders with the Sanderson Farms PGA Championship say paid off. Really good attendance. Uh, here at the golf course, and uh, the hotel tells me it's been one of the biggest weeks they've ever had. This was the first year the tournament teed off at the Country Club of Jackson after years at Madison's Annandale. We want this to be Mississippi's event, and for it to be in the capital of the state, I think, uh, is, makes a lot of sense. Organizers estimated the capital city's first PGA tournament would bring in $25 million for the Metro, plus one of the biggest fundraising donations on record for Friends of Children's Hospital. We're hoping this will get somewhere around a million dollars. This year's donation will go to the Children's Heart Center, helping to treat kids here instead of sending them out of state. We've gone from the last three years of having to send our Mississippi families who had very, very sick children with heart problems out of state to being uh, able to do over 400 heart surgeries in a year. Now they're looking ahead. With crowds still out on the green for this year's tournament, organizers say they are already getting ready for 2015. We'll clean up a little bit this week and then you really start for next year right away. You know, this year was about getting a lot of things started and so next year's going to be a lot of, of just tweaking and figuring out what, what we want to change. Some of those changes, routing the golf course to make it most convenient for players and caddies. Longtime fans of the tournament say the move was an added convenience for them. I like to the country club is nice being pretty close to home. Now, the tournament raised about $500,000 in hospital donations last year. So if they reach their fundraising goal of a million dollars this year, that would double that total. And we're hoping to find out those exact numbers sometime this week. In the newsroom, Hadass Brown, 16, WAPT News. Thanks a lot, Hadass.